Indian spiritual teacher and inspirational speaker. B. K. Shivani is a Raj Yoga meditation teacher and has been studying spiritual knowledge and practicing the ancient technique of Raj Yoga meditation as taught by the Prajapita Brahma Kumari Ishwarya Vishwavidyalaya Mount Abu for the past 14 years. B. K. Shivani completed her electronics engineering from Pune University in 1994 and also served for two years as lecturer in Bharatiya Vidyapit College of Engineering, Pune. Sister Shivani is known for her dynamic, engaging and down-to-earth nature. She speaks on a wide spectrum of themes such as stress-free lifestyle, leadership skills, emotional intelligence, art of right thinking, living values, exploring inner powers, self-management, harmony in relationships, and the practical technique of Raj Yoga meditation. Sister Shivani, to please address us and inspire and bless this conference, the WOW Discon. Good morning. Om Shanti and greetings of peace from the Brahma Kumaris family. India at 75, Vision 2022. I still don't know what's your vision for India in 2022, but let me share with you what is God's vision for India for 2022. Would you like to know God's vision for India 2022? God's vision for India in 2022 is that India will be the lighthouse for the world. India will be that golden age, the paradise, the heaven, the new age, which the world is looking for. The entire Indian subcontinent there will not be a single soul who will ever experience pain. Every soul will be completely pure, powerful, perfect, and healthy. Wo wo dunya banne wali hai jiske liye hum sunte hain, jahan sher aur bakri ikatthe pani piyenge. That is India in 2022. We just heard a very beautiful story that brother shared with us. And he said the statue had no hands. And they said, we have no hands. Lord, you are our hand. God says, I have no hands. You all are my hands to create that India of 2022. God's role and God's task is to remove all pain and disease and give us a world of health, wealth, and happiness. And Rotary Worldwide is actually the right hand of God playing this role for the world and humanity. I'm not sure whether you realize the significance of the role you are playing. We are moving from the Iron Age Kalyug towards Heaven Satyug, and Rotary is playing a very major role in creating that Satyug in this world. So you are God's right hands. When we talk about service, because Rotary always says, service before self. Service through our actions, jise hum kehte hain karmana seva. Karmana se ki hui seva is when we do something using money, our talents, our skills, our resources, we are doing karmana seva. And each one at Rotary is contributing a lot of their time, energy, and resources in doing karmana seva. The second seva that we do is the service through words, vacha seva. When we share the knowledge that we have, 
the experiences that we have gathered, when we share with others and empower the soul, we have just done Vacha Seva. A very deep and powerful and a service which is happening 24 by 7 without us having to do anything is the third seva which is called the Mansa Seva, the service through our mind. Every thought we create, every feeling we experience is a vibration that radiates into this universe. And our every thought is responsible for what the world is today. If we all want to come together and remove the pain and sorrow from this world, we will have to begin here. If we want to remove poverty and terror from the world, we will have to begin here. The consciousness of society is only a collective consciousness of each one of us. Are we all ready here today? Because we all talk a lot about and work a lot on the projects that we are going to do for others. But in order to create that beautiful world by 2022, there will have to be a very deep project that will have to start here. Are you ready to be a part of that project? Yes? Rotary has joined with the government of India to work on the project of Swachh Bharat. Please ask yourself, pause for 10 seconds and ask yourself, is it really, really possible to create a Swachh Bharat without creating a Swachh Man in every being who's living in Bharat? Is it really possible? If we are only going to go onto the roads and picking up everything that's lying on the road, not dirty our streets, that's one part, very beautiful intention. But what about all the litter that is there in our mind, which we are holding since don't know how many years? One word, one insult, one wrong action done by someone. Someone did something which I did not expect. I trusted someone, they betrayed me. I created pain and I'm holding on to the pain here. A lot of past, a lot of hurt accumulated here. Are we ready to create a Swachh Man before we start working on this Swachh Bharat project? Silence. Picking up litter from the road requires time and energy. Cleaning our mind can happen anytime, anywhere. Every time each one of us is creating a thought of ego, anger, irritation, hurt, jealousy, rejection, we are contributing towards creating pain in the world. Our role is to create peace and love in the world. How many of us can take up a project today, just for the next 24 hours, come what may, let there be any situation or behavior outside, I will not get irritated or angry for the next 24 hours. And when you do that for the next 24 hours, you are contributing to creating that peaceful world that we all want. That's all that we have to do. And the first person who will benefit is me, myself. The next who will benefit will be my family and the people who I work with. And when we all benefit, the world will change. Many times it happens that while we are together, working on these wonderful projects of service, while we are serving others, we get hurt. Has anybody experienced hurt while doing service projects for others? No? 
We work so hard. We spend 20, our entire 24 hours working on a project. We've put in everything. And then when we come for a meeting like this, but I didn't get to sit on the first row. But I was not felicitated like the other one was. But I was not appreciated and recognized like the other person was. I worked so hard. Why was I not respected like the other one was? Anyone ever experienced something like that? Don't raise your hand, just ask yourself. <laughs> when we create those thoughts, we have literally washed out all the service that we have done that time. Because we served others, but we only created pain and hurt. The word serve, seva, it only means that energy flows only in one direction from me to them. If there is even a slight expectation in return from them to me, it could be an expectation of appreciation. It could be an expectation of an award, a recognition. If there's any expectation in return, then the energy is not flowing from me to them. I'm looking for energy to flow from them to me. So I'm not serving. I'm actually, what is this called? We're literally doing it today. Please talk nicely to me. Please be nice to me. Please recognize me. Please respect me. Please understand me. Our hand is not like this. It's like this. And aaj hum sirf maang nahi rahe, hum to chheen bhi lete hai ek dusre se. And that is Kalyug. Kalyug means jaha hum maang rahe hai. And Satyug means jaha hum de rahe hai. Dene wale ko Devi Devta kaha jata hai. हर आत्मा जो देती है वो दिव्य आत्मा को देवी देवता कहा जाता है इज एवरी मेंबर ऑफ रोटरी रेडी टू बिकम दैट डेटी हु ओनली गिव्स 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 विदाउट द स्लाइटेस्ट एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ एनीथिंग इन रिटर्न देन वी आर सर्विंग बिफोर द सेल्फ अदरवाइज इट इज अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट द सेल्फ बिफोर सर्विस And when we start cleaning our little, little cobwebs, little, little emotional blockages that we've held inside here, each one of us will start creating our satyug here. Satyug is going to begin from our minds, a pure, loving, peaceful, powerful mind is satyug. And when our minds create satyug, then definitely by 2022 there will be Satyug in the world and India is where it will begin from and Mumbai can be where it will begin for for India because people love to copy whatever is happening in Mumbai. Mumbai is the fashion capital of the country so let's make spirituality a fashion for the rest of the country to copy us. So the next 24 hours how many of you really feel it will be possible to be 24 hours without anger or irritation? Irrespective of whatever happens here. Whether I get the first seat, the last seat or no seat. Each time we create irritation or anger or hurt, we immediately have a justification to say, what I feel is absolutely right because it happened because of someone and something outside. Every thought and feeling we create is our responsibility, our choice, and our creation, irrespective of the person and situation outside. And so we take up this project, ke agle 24 ghante, Swach man. And ye chobis ghante agar pasand aagaye, toh fir wo project can continue after that. Because if I can do anything for 24 hours, then I can do it whenever I want. And then we will be serving people, not only when we are doing specific projects, 
but we will be serving people 24 by 7. When you look for projects, you're looking for who needs blood, who needs a home, who needs clothes. But what is one thing that everybody needs today? Everyone is asking for peace, love, and happiness. Is Rotary ready to give that to everyone? Peace, love, and happiness. Because everyone needs, even the person sitting next to you on the chair. Ready to give? Ready to give? Easy? Easy? Kya hua? Easy? Very simple. Just have to have the intention of giving. If the intention is of receiving, then we will get hurt. If the intention is of giving, then we have only one intention. I have to give, 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 and give, irrespective of what I am getting from there. If we pick up that intention, only then this vision will become a reality. And looking at each one of you, gathered here with this beautiful intention, please always remember you're playing the role of God's right hand. God's power and blessings are always with you. If there is a purity in the intention of giving, then this project will definitely become a reality. Thank you so much for what you are doing for the world. Om Shanti. I think Sister Shivani has given us such a great insight. She needs a big round of applause for that wonderful thought. Yes, give her a standing ovation for that beautiful thought which she's given us, that service above self and not self above service is most important. And friends, before you sit, let's do what she said. Let's give some recognition to each one of us who's next to us. Please turn towards the person next to you, give a small bow and say, to see Greto. Well, friends, uh, I think uh, that really is something special to recognize our, our fellow human beings who are with us all the time. But I tell you, we always forget to recognize the ones who are nearest and dearest to us. And that's what you have all done today, my friends. Thank you so much for that. And it gives me great pleasure, and I request our RIPR to join me here. It gives me great pleasure, my friends, to give this beautiful citation to Sister Shivani, which says, RI District 3140 recognizes Brahma Kumari Sister Shivani for a selfless crusade in spreading spiritual awakening at the WOW District Conference presented today. Thank you so much. Please, sir. Thank you. And uh, sister, we have something small here for you. This is what we are going to do all throughout the conference. All the speakers who are coming here today and tomorrow, as a token of our gratitude for you coming here, we will donate for the education of one child at the Dreams Home. This is a certificate for that, ma'am, saying, Dear Sister, Sivan Sister Shivani, thank you for contributing towards my one year's education, and that is from the, from the club, that is the Rotary Club of Bombay Pier. Yes, we can have the, AV, the, the photograph of the child who's going to benefit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Lots of blessings to you and good wishes. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you.